When you purchase the Model 82 sequencing mono synth, you also get five modules to use within SoftTube Modular. You can now mix the sound of this iconic synthesizer with any other module in Modular. You receive the Model 82 LFO, VCO, the VCF and VCA normalized together, the envelope, and effects. Let's take a look at the individual modules through a basic monophonic patch that performs along with the drum beat. We need to tell our VCO what note to perform. So let's connect the note from the MIDI to CV module. Send your VCO out into the amplifier. Connect the gate to the envelope module. Now connect your envelope out to the VCA input. And then the VCA output to your main output on modular. We now have control over the filtering and amplification from one single module. And the envelope module allows us to adjust the ADSR. We can manually set our pulse width. Let's set up to have an LFO modulate our pulse width. You will need to set your pulse width switch to external. The LFO module receives information from your DAW. Let's sync it to the subdivision of the tempo. Let's route the LFO to the filter cutoff. We will use the square wave. We can even modulate our filter resonance via a CV input. The oscillator module has an attenuator on the inputs. However, we will also use the dual gain module to help fine tune the perfect amount of CV. Using the mod jack, we can modulate the frequency with a square, which is great for trills. We can use the FM input with the triangle shape, which is great for vibrato. <laughs> Last, let's run our output into the Model 82 effects. We can also use doubling to duplicate the sound through a second set of modules or push it past 12 o'clock for a wide stereo spread. Here we can add some drive and use the knob on the module to shape the tone. The drive amount can even be CV controlled with the slider acting as the offset. Even with a basic patch such as this, you will find some unique settings that no other synth will capture. Let's take a look at a polyphonic example. The quadraphonic MIDI to CV module allows us to take this monophonic synth and expand it to four full voices. We can transpose the octave individually on each VCO, but let's use the transpose on the module to affect all four voices at once. The effects module can double our sound and then allows us to push to a full stereo. A performance panel is set up here to give us instant control over the pulse wave modulation of the four oscillator modules.
We can also adjust filter cutoff frequency and resonance for all four voices at once. The envelope amount controls how much of each voice envelope will modulate the filter cutoff. Last, I added a ZAR 1R reverb at the end to help this polyphonic performance fit into our mix. In this patch, the MIDI step sequencer is used along with our five modules. The accent output of the MIDI step sequencer triggers an envelope that influences both the filter cutoff frequency and effects drive. If I lower the filter frequency, you can really hear the difference. The envelope slider also allows you to modulate the filter frequency, but this time it is derived from the envelope module. The keyboard tracking slider scales the CV tracking of the notes of the output of the MIDI step sequencer. And last, we have control of our double and stereo spread. For this example, a double sounds great without going too wide. Try switching up the direction of the sequencer to find some unique combinations of notes during your performance. Last, add some delay or one of your other favorite modules to complete your sonic palette. Download and add the five modules from Model 82 Sequencing Mono Synth to your modular setup today.